New 2018 body A1 2018 body A1 engine range A new platform brings new engines, and the A1 range is likely to kick off with a re-engineered version of the current 1.0-liter three-cylinder turbo, developing around 100 bishop. With the new Polo and upcoming A1 sharing lots of mechanical DNA, body may also choose to offer the A1 with the VW Group's new 1.5-liter petrol and diesel engines, although the latter units are likely to appear first in the next A3. When the A1 dish get the new 1.5-liter engines, their range of outputs, from 90 bishop to 160 bishop, should give Audi enough options for the entire lineup with the exception of the East one hot hatch. There is also the possibility of Audi introducing a plug-in hybrid e-tron version of the A1. Back in 2012 it developed a concept featuring a three-cylinder turbo and electric motor. The technology is expensive, though, and if introduced it will push the A1S price into new territory, possibly upwards of £25,000. However, it would give Audi a competitor for the BMW i3, a car it can't currently rival. New Audi A1 interior and exterior design Of course, a new model wouldn't be complete without a new look. Our images give an idea of how the second generation A1 will develop, with evolutionary rather than revolutionary changes. Expect sharper headlamps with a unique daytime running light signature either side of the latest company grille which follows the rule of being hexagonal on hatchbacks and saloons, rather than octagonal as on Audi's SUVs. At the rear, wider taillights are likely to be inspired by the recently refreshed A3, with an integrated roof spoiler to aid aerodynamic efficiency and give the A1 a sportier look. Audi's scrolling indicators are set to be offered as an option across the range. What is likely to be more intriguing to buyers is the raft of new tech inside. Audi's 12.3-inch virtual cockpit will make an appearance for the first time, while Apple CarPlay and Android Auto will also be introduced on an updated version of Audi's MMI infotainment system. The firm may roll out a Wi-Fi hotspot as well as it aims to rival the connectivity offered by the A1S main rival, the Mini. The existing car will soldier on with only minor tweaks before the next model is introduced, but it could get a signed-off flagship. Body has fenced off the R1 badge, and while senior company insiders deny any plans for such a vehicle, it's possible that the company could issue a limited edition, extreme hot hatchback version of the A1 as part of the tail end of its current production run in early 2018. Thanks for watching and don't forget subscribe this channel. See you, and bye bye.